What the world once called impossible, India has made possible. And that's exactly what's happening today with the Kaveri engine. Once dismissed as a failed project, it has now risen to shake the giants, the United States, France, and China. This isn't just a technological achievement, it's the story of a nation that turned failure into fire and impossibility into innovation. Now, only 150 hours of the final endurance trial stand between India and entry into the exclusive elite club of nations, a club with only five members, the US, Russia, France, the UK, and China. Every fighter jet's true heart is its engine, and that's exactly where India was weak for decades. India has its own fighter jets, Tejas, Sukhoi, Mirage, Rafale, but their beating hearts were all foreign. Rafale flies on France's Safran M88 engine. Sukhoi relies on Russia's AL-31FP, and Tejas runs on America's GEF-404. Now imagine this. If war breaks out tomorrow and these nations decide to halt spare parts or engine supplies, billions of dollars worth of Indian aircraft could be grounded instantly. That fear, that blackmail, forced India to pour everything into one mission, technological self-reliance. The Cavalry engine's journey began in 1986. The mission was entrusted to DRDO's special lab, GTRE, Gas Turbine Research Establishment. Its goal, build India's own indigenous jet engine. But back then, India had no advanced technology, no modern materials, and no experience in turbine science. By 2009, billions of rupees were spent, but the engine couldn't fly. It was declared a failed project. International headlines read, India's Kaveri dream grounded. For years, silence followed. Many thought the project was dead forever, but India never stays down for long. GTRE quietly kept working, no media spotlight, no foreign help, just pure dedication. The dream was not abandoned, it was being reborn. Two years ago, GTRE decided to resurrect the Cavalry project, but this time the mission was silent but strong. No leaks, no hype, just results. And suddenly, the world woke up to a shock. GTRE had unveiled the Cavalry Engine D-Series. This wasn't a minor upgrade, it was a complete transformation. The new D-Series includes five versions, D1, D2, D3, D4, and D5. The first goal, a 150-hour high-altitude endurance test. That means the engine will face temperatures of minus 50 degrees Celsius, Himalayan level altitudes, and 150 hours of continuous operation. These are the very conditions where Indian jets patrol the borders near China. GTRE has divided this mission into five crucial phases. One D1 variant the baseline prototype integrating all new systems and materials. Two D2 and D3 variants, the real trial by fire. 150 hours of high altitude, heat stress, and aerodynamic endurance testing. Three D4 and D5 variants, the flight testing stages. Here the engine will go through 300 to 500 hours of real world flight classification. Once the D5 passes these tests, India will officially have its first flight certified indigenous jet engine. The Kaveri D-Series has been designed to be lighter, smarter, and more powerful. It delivers up to 95 kilonewtons of thrust, making it ideal for India's next-gen Tejas MK2, AMCA, and UCAV stealth drones. It comes equipped with FADEC Full Authority Digital Engine Control, a computer-controlled brain that manages every aspect of performance. The D-Series uses cutting-edge materials, single crystal turbine blades, ceramic matrix composites, advanced thermal cooling systems, these are technologies once exclusive to the US and France and now mastered by India. GTRE claims the new engine will offer 20% higher fuel efficiency, 15% lower maintenance, cost 30% longer service life. That's not just progress, that's a revolution. Your Majesty, the Cavalry engine is not just a piece of metal, it's a symbol of strategic freedom. As long as India's fighters run on foreign hearts, its defense remains vulnerable. Today, if the US, France or Russia stop supplying engines, India's air force could be paralyzed. But once Kaveri succeeds, India will never depend on anyone again. No blackmail, no sanctions, no fear. This engine gives India the power that only five nations in history have ever possessed. When Kaveri failed in 2010, foreign defense companies saw an opportunity. GE, Rolls-Royce and Safran rushed in, offering partnerships. But they weren't offering collaboration. They were offering control. 
Sharing jet engine technology means sharing your defense soul. India said no. GTRE replied, we will do it ourselves. And they did. Today, the Cavalry engine project represents the true spirit of make in India. After 2014, when Prime Minister Narendra Modi declared, we will not just manufacture products, we will master technology. That vision became the backbone of this mission. Over 200 Indian companies are now part of the Kaveri ecosystem, from HAL, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, to IISC Bangalore and IITS, each contributing to material science, design and testing. Kaveri is no longer just a DRDO project, it's a national movement. With Kaveri, India's aim isn't just self-reliance, it's technological dominance. By 2027, India plans for the AMCA and TEDBF fighters to be powered entirely by indigenous engines. Meanwhile, a lighter variant of Kaveri is being designed for UCAVS and advanced drones, giving India unmatched strike capability. For the last two years, GTRE scientists have worked tirelessly. No headlines, no fame, just one mission, to make India engine independent. Their dedication has paid off. Today, India stands at a historic turning point in turbofan engine technology. The project once labeled dead is now the beating heart of India's next generation of defense power. All eyes are now on that 150-hour high-altitude trial. If successful, India will officially certify the Cavalry D5 by 2026. Then, Tejas Mac 2, AMCA, and UCAVs will all fly with Indian hearts. And on that day, India will join the ranks of nations that design, test, and produce their own jet engines. The Cavalry engine is no longer just a technological project. It's a symbol of Indian willpower, science, and pride. It's the story of a nation that turned rejection into resilience and failure into flight. 150 hours from now, when the Cavalry roars in the skies, it won't just be an engine sound, it will be a declaration. A declaration that India no longer flies with borrowed wings, no more foreign blackmail, no more sanctions, no more limitations, because now India's fighter jets will soar with indigenous hearts. The cavalry marks the beginning of a new era, where science and sovereignty rise together. India has proven to the world that with vision, determination, and leadership, nothing is impossible. This is not just a leap in defense technology. It's the birth of Atmanir Bharat a self-reliant India. Once the Kaveri was labeled a failure, today it's India's pride. Once the world said, India can't build its own engine. Today, the same world is watching India's jet roar to life. This isn't just an engine, it's the roar of a nation that declares, we are the makers of our own destiny. This transformation was powered by a vision, a leadership that dared to dream big. Make in India is no longer a slogan, it's a living, breathing reality. And with the thunder of the cavalry engine, India has sent a clear message to the world. This nation will never stop. India now flies with its own wings. And when India takes flight, even the skies bow in respect. Because the truth stands tall, with Modi, it's possible.